my number one is being out in the field and getting wet. Well, I suppose the travelling is the most fascinating bit about it. I came around quite a bit. I did a study abroad semester in, on Curaçao in the Caribbean. And I spent three months time on a beautiful island and did lots of diving. And that's the good thing about it. So it'd be two. Um, the first one would be going to tropical islands where I completed most of my PhD. So I worked on uh, coral reefs and the impacts of climate change. Um, the second field trip, which was a great uh, research component to my career, was um, going to Antarctica. So I got to experience um, what it's like to go on a ship for a week to get to Antarctica and spend about a month in the ice. That was, that was fantastic. Oh boy, that's a tricky one. Uh, over 30 years of doing marine biology, it's, it's been a wonderful ride, I'd have to say. I've travelled all over the world, I've researched in the Caribbean and Hawaii, and just recently I came back from a fantastic experience uh, working on the deep sea using uh, the remote operated vehicles that come off the back of an oil rig in Western Australia. We went down uh, by, virtually by TV to a depth of 1200 metres and some of the footage is remarkable and I'm a fish biologist and some of those fishes I don't recognise and I'm sure will be new species. So that was pretty exciting. I spent a year living in the Red Sea on a, on a not quite deserted tropical island in the Red Sea setting up a marine national park where I had to do diving and surveys of the marine life and also meet the local fishermen. So that was a great scientific experience as well as a, a personal experience. 